Hello everybody, your favorite player, Noah Vader, back in the house, um, continuing a very, very important development diary of Mars and Dying. More of a clarification video, to be perfectly honest. Um, today I'm going to be talking about why I stopped developing Failsafe, um, and why I didn't uh, map for Project Black Mass for Project Brutality. Um, I just want to get this off right off the bat. I don't dislike Black Mass in the slightest. I think that it's a, a fantastic project, and the people that do it are also fantastic. Even though it's a little bit in a little bit of development hell right now, and I can kind of understand why. Um, so first things first, why did I stop mapping for Failsafe? Well, originally it was because I had planned to adapt Failsafe into Project Black Mass, um, but for various reasons I did not do that. Um, Firstly, because Collegia Titanica said that it didn't fit Mar um, Project Black Mass's mapping style, and he is absolutely right about this. It doesn't in the slightest. Um, it is a very, very different style of mapping to uh, Project Black Mass, and um, as a result, it wouldn't flow properly, and he's, he's completely right about that. And So what I ended up doing is I ended up like jumbling a bunch of the maps together and sending it to him and asking if, if like it worked better, because... Um, I did it with Project Brutality's double jump in mind, and I wanted to make a bunch of like double jumping, like quick, really large arenas with double jumping um, as mechanic. And Collegiate Titanium kind of still didn't really like the maps all that much, so, so I said, okay, um, that's all right. And so we just start, we started discussing about um, what I could do to help out and like what I would do for mapping, and it was it was going all right, but. Ultimately, I had other projects that I wanted to do. Like, I really, really love the failsafe maps. I never wanted to get rid of them, despite me knowing that I really couldn't continue with them. And I, I ended up just eh, failsafe also went into de development hell, and I ended up discon discontinuing the project because um, I had actually uh, I had taken a job at a summer camp, and I would not be able to see my computer for, like, 99.9% .9 of the time. Like, I slept there, I worked there, I didn't come home for, like... I was only home for, like, um... I'd say about 36 hours a week. I'm not even kidding. Like, that that was it. That, that was the t amount of time that I had at home on a regular basis. And it was, it was horrible. Like, yeah, I don't want to go back. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that's why I, that's why I discontinued failsafe in a nutshell is because I just didn't have time, and I eventually uh, why why didn't I um, why didn't I start mapping for Black Mass? Well, in a nutshell, I had a very very different vision for it. Like what 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 I was saying about um, Caligia Titanica not liking the uh, double jump puzzles that the double jump puzzle idea that I presented with him. Um, I I feel like like. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. What I what I feel like, if you're gonna disregard like something that makes the mod unique and you're not gonna use utilize it in your maps, then what's even the point? I mean, from what I've seen in the beta map, the double jump is just used to um, it's literally just used to like climb through corridors and just um, it's 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 bare bones. It feels like it feels like the double jump could be used way more often than it is. Um, I don't mean this with any disrespect to Kalekia Titanic, but I think that's a, um, I feel like if there's one criticism that I could give Black Mass, it's to, like, utilize the Project Brutality movement a lot more than it already is. Um, that's just, like, one of, that's just one of my things. And, like, I'm not saying this, like, I feel like it's a definitive flaw of, Pro of Project Brutality Black Mass, because it isn't. That's, that's just a personal preference thing, and that's what, why I don't... This is that's why I don't map from Project Black Mass, is because we have very very different views. Um, well, fundamentally, it's not that his views are wrong. It's just I have different different ones, and I'm just repeating myself over and over again because I just I don't want to offend Collegia or Cars or anybody like that by um, dissing them because they are objectively better mappers than I am. I just have a very um, I have a very unique style ish. Um, I enjoy like open arenas, like very very open areas, and occasionally very very claustrophobic areas. I I think that those two should be um, melded together, which is why I have been. I also like really the reason I don't use Project Brutality is because um, like there's a randomization element to the monsters, and I just 
I couldn't get I couldn't really get behind that. Like developing the another thing is like developing maps for Project Brutality is a lot harder because of this. For example, like this room that I'm about to go into probably has a bunch of Volkabai in it because of the randomization and like how I have it set up. And I I always get killed by them. No matter what. It, it is really no fault but um but my own. No one's fault but my own because I just have the randomizer set up set on like um, chaotic random or something like that, or tier progression, tier progression. I don't know, something like that, because that's just how I prefer Project Brutality. But um, yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? I just got hit by a straight bullet. Fuck you, Project Brutality. Um, nah, I'm just kidding. I love Project Brutality as well. That's why I started making maps for it in the in the first place. Um. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you like, oh wait, no, I should put it on SV Cheats and show you. SV underscore, underscore, G. <laughs> okay. Change. Map, map, three. Now this is what I'm talking about. Um, so here, Hell on Earth, This that's what the, um, I didn't know how to do map info at the time, so I just, um, named it whatever. But anyway, so, like, oh, wait, no, I didn't implement it. Yeah, 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 that's right. So, right about here, I was going to have this elevated Doom Eternal-style sky, um, highway, like, in the sky, where you could, like, double jump between, like, the buildings here and such, and I thought that, like, that was a really cool idea and that, that I really wanted to expand on. But... Caligia Titanica kind of rejected it, and so, which is, he, he had the right to, he was basically the leader of the project of the time in the zombie's absence. Um, so yeah, that, that was, um, that was like the situation. So yeah, he just rejected that, and that's when I decided we have way too different views, we, we have way too different of views to, um, continue working together. Not that he isn't a great, um, partner. He, he obviously is. He's in a team of, like, what, 30 people? Um, and they all get along really well. Uh, come on, get him. And why is there... <laughs> why is there a random A, guys? What's that about? I don't know. Um, yeah, Project Brutality is absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend that it isn't. It really is. Um, Project Black, Black Mass is also amazing. It's just not for me. And yeah, obviously I'm done with that ma that job now, so why don't I just continue with failsafe? Well, it's A, it's because of the, um, the monster randomization of Project Battalion and how I don't like it. And B, it's just because, um, I have, um, I had other things that I wanted to do, other inspirations that I really wanted to, um, expand on. I'm not, I'm definitely not going to ditch the whole, uh, platforming, um, whole platforming arenas idea. I, I think that's a good idea. Um, I, I really think that the Doom community should have like more um, more like movement based arenas. Like like kind of like Doom 2016 and Dusk has in a way. Um, I think that at some point Mars and Dying is definitely going to have like stuff like jump pads and such like that. Um, I might as well get on with this. Um, no I'm ready. Play your own maps correctly. Don't be dumbass. And I did not create these with pistols, start in mind. Excuse me, I'm blow everything up. Come on, come on, give me a shotgun. Give me a shotgun! Yeah. Fucking It's a good thing I. It's a good job I have all of these, um. Partner Marines at hand. Which may also end up in Mars and Dying. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Um. I like the idea of having um, AI companions in your in my camping. Oh yeah, by the way, um, failsafe Easter egg. Um, but at the same time, it kind of ruins the balance of the game at the same time because, like, with AI partners, you don't you don't control how well they're going to behave. Like, and like as a result, they can kind of skew the difficulty. Um. Because I, I'm very, I really want to kind of, I'm, I'm really controlling when it comes to the player to an extent. Um, I want to control what the interaction is going to be like in a nutshell. Um, to an extent, to an extent. I want to, I want, 
I really, really want uh, Mars and Dying to be friendly to a bunch of different playstyles. For example, I'm creating every single level with Pistol Start in mind. Um, I actually, at some point, I want them all to be uh, speedrunnable, Dusk style, and um, I also want them to be designed in a, in a way that makes, um, oh, what's it called? What am I, what am I trying to say? Um, oh yeah, this. Yeah, jump pads are a part of the original failsafe. Fail they're really terrible. Um, they're, like, ugh, physics behind them. I know how to do proper, I think I, I have a theory on how to do proper, um, proper jump pads now. Also, um, da -da -da -da, go here. I mean, all this is discontinued stuff, right? So it's it's okay if I show secrets. Where? Okay, here we go. Oh, yep, that's also a secret. Enjoy it, enjoy it. I, I that's my favorite secret of all time that I've ever made in a map. Uh, oh, don't get teary, Noah. So yeah, that's a thing. Too bad I can't 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 get that. Um. So yeah, that's um, a little bit of answers on failsafe and Mars and Dying. I do plan to implement failsafe back into Mars and Dying at some point. This isn't all going to be gone. Um, I definitely want to polish these up and put them into um, Mars and Dying in some form. Um, like, in fact, um, like this is this stuff's all going to be in episode two at some point. Spoiler alert, but kind of not because I'm going to change it so much. Um, yeah, failsafe facilities will definitely be part of. Um, oh, jeez, I forgot about this. Oh, I hate myself. Ugh, this is a thing I did. I want. I wanted to. Um, I wanted to take inspiration from the Wendigos from Dusk, because Dusk is an enormous. Um, a absolutely enormous uh, inspiration to me. I love Dusk with a passion. Um, so yeah, that like Mar you're gonna you're gonna probably see similarities between Dusk and Mars and Dying. Oh yeah, this is also really really Dusk inspired. <laughs> Oof, my flashlight broke. I absolutely, um, uh, that, that was, oh, I can't even remember what level it is, I think it's E2M4 or something like, yeah, Into the Thresher, Into the Thresher, that has, like, this, this area with a bunch of, like, red lights that you fall down, and that's exactly what that's supposed to be. Um, Poltergeist will probably, um, recognize that. Um, so yeah, you go in here, um, I'm definitely gonna start porting in, like, these, um, grass I have to hunt down whoever did that originally and credit them. Or I can just make my own. I'm probably going to just end up making my own grass spawners. Um, or just grass sprites in general. Because I deeply enjoy uh, like like the, the grass details that this has. Just, it, like, it adds a little bit to the environment. What are you, what are you doing there, buddy? Stop humping the table. Oh, I already have like super armor. Okay, what's in here? Oh yeah, quad damage. That used to be another Dusk insp inspired power up that I think like it like doubled your speed like a hay sphere, like the caffeine room, lol. Fast firing totem I think. Yeah, Aphrits. Um, no, they're not Aphrits. Those aren't Aphrits. What are they called? Um, Archons of Hell. Archons of Hell. That's what those guys are called. Um, I enjoy the art Archons of Hell. Oh, got an HMG. I'm actually not doing too bad for pistol start. I only died like what once? Never? Never? Oh wow, that's that's impressive. Um, oh yeah, I added those details in really, really un or unorganically. Um, wow, that still hasn't been fixed. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is gonna be completely retextured uh, for when it goes into failsafe, except for like not completely retextured, just mostly. Um, and this is a really outdated bit, even for failsafe. Like, I have... Oh, man, this has been redone so many times. Oh, 
come on. Oh yeah, yeah. Getting enemies to infight is gonna be also be a core, uh, not a gimmick, but it's gonna be like something that's probably gonna be a little bit easier for you to do in um, Mars and Dying. Like I really um, enjoy getting enemies to infight. Uh, I think it's really fun and. Like, there are enemies that I've implemented in Mars and Dying that are specific- I, I designed specifically with monster infighting in mind. Like, there are a couple in general. Um, like, the Spider Mastermind, uh, replacement. Uh, is specifically- Like, I could- you could- you could so easily get that thing to infight with other monsters. It's hilarious. Because it has, like, this- Uh, spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Massive spoilers. I- I- I really want you guys to discover that for yourself on second thought, because it's just my favorite bit. Wow, I'm sucking so terribly. I should just not. Why, 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 why none and I design these with pistols start in mind? Fuck. And I think my chain gunner variants are bad. These, wow, I need to buff those guys. Holy shit. Oh man, failsafe can be really punishing. Failsafe can be incredibly punishing. But then again, I didn't design those with this to start in mind. This used to be a breeze for me. Like, with all with all the weapons that you get in the first level, this is a breeze. Um, also with a kick and such. Um. Yeah, with all the extra ac actions that um, Project Brutality has, um, it compared to Mars and Dying, it's much much better. However, uh, eh, I'm doing my best to make Mars and Dying as good as it can possibly be. Like I'm trying to make it so you, the, like that all of the enemies have this specific way to cheat them out. Um, which I'm not, I'm totally not gonna belt out to you guys. Like, specific weapons are way, way better for specific enemy types. Um, and, like, there, like, ugh, there's a really, really easy way to cheap out 90% of the times that you see zombie men. Like, it's almost foolproof. You can take no damage while facing zombie men. It's ridiculous. It's... It's like, it's so easy to figure out that I'm, I might as well say it, but I'm just not going to. And oh, this, this right here, this is why failsafe is going back in. Like, it just because of areas like this where like the lighting is like, oh, on point, fantastic. Anyways, this is less news and more like hype and like, uh, and just me rambling. So I'm just going to let you guys go. I'm just going to kill myself here and you guys can see me later. That took like half a second. I'm impressed. Good job, Project Brutality.